Bonjour, it's Theo. Today we are back with Meili. Hello. You saw her on the video about the Tour Eiffel that we made a few months ago. Yeah. And today we're gonna try an iconic restaurant that is really famous also on social media, in uh, the tourist groups. It's called Pink Mama. It's from the Big Mama Group, a famous Italian uh, restaurant group in Paris. And I can't wait to make you try this place. Let's see if it's worth the try and it's worth the hype. Let's go. The entrance of the restaurant is surprising because it's like a corner of a street and the restaurant is like on the second floor with a beautiful glass roof. I can't wait to show you this place. You have the entrance right there, also a bar on the first floor and then you can have on the last floor to have the beautiful restaurant. We're gonna take an elevator for that because of course Meili has a luggage full of clothes because she's a model. You're a star? No. <laughs> Not yet, not yet. But they have like an elevator in the restaurant. This thing is crazy. Let's go. Yeah. We are inside the restaurant. The yeah. decor is incredible. You can see they have like a big glass roof, beautiful with a lot of plants. And I just love the vibe of the table. It's incredible. And we have a perfect table for a lot of different dishes that you're gonna try. So the Big Mama group, they have a lot of restaurants in Paris and I think that this one is maybe the most beautiful and the most iconic, like uh, they have a lot of hype on Instagram. I've already tried it a few times and it was always really good. So I can't wait to try it again to see if it's still delicious. I love the decor of the place. Like I just love it for the sun, for the summer, it's perfect. You can see that it's really touristy because even the waiters are speaking like Italian and English, not always French. You can hear many different languages in the place. And we're gonna see if this uh, touristic restaurant worth the try. Really modern, you can check the menu on your QR code. Startup Nation. Yeah. <laughs> we are starting with some uh, mocktails. Santé. It's time for the starters and it looks amazing. This is the focaccia and look at this focaccia. It's incredible, it looks like a brioche that is like cut in multiple pieces. It's crispy, oily, some stracciatella, confit tomatoes on top and basil. I just can't wait to eat it. And this is the burrata with some tomato puree. It's a big one, like really big burrata. I can't wait. I can't wait too. Let's cut the burrata in half like that. Oh la la, oh la la. That's, that's a crazy starter. You can take it with some bread. Not the best uh, frame, but it works, it works. I'm gonna try the, the burrata. Yeah, it's so good. You have the taste of the, of the tomato sauce that is like cooked, marinated. And the freshness of the burrata is incredible. What do you think about the focaccia? Oh, the tasty, the... it's very good. We smell the basilic. The basil. Family. We say basilic in French. So crunchy. You have everything you need for a good meal, like the olive oil, the stracciatella, the crispiness, the crunchiness of this crust. Like you can just see that it's so crispy. I'll use the cutlery because it's gonna be a mess. Oh, I was cutting like inside butter. Like it's just really crispy on the edge, and the inside it's like smooth. That's crazy. Yeah. You taste the olive, the olive oil. It's crispy, a bit sticky on the teeth with the crunchiness. It's like caramelized. I love it. To talk about the prices, the focaccia is about 9 euros 50. I think it's okay for a starter, less than 10 euros. It's really good. The burrata is at 14 euros and 50. A bit expensive for something as simple as a burrata with tomato but it's like a starter. I've seen the starter that were more expensive than that and I think that the quantity is really good for this price. Like you can share it with many people. It's really nice. First step, done. It's empty. Just, just a little bit of tomato. We are here to fight the meal. We're gonna win this fight. It's time for the main courses and it looks incredible. Yes. Like, I can't wait. You took kind of ravioli. I don't remember the name of this ravioli. Capella, capellacci? Capellacci. The capellacci ai pepperoni. Yes. So you have some sausage pepperoni inside with yeah. a beautiful sauce. And I took the classic of the house, the truffle pasta. It's served in a little uh, pan by Moviel, really famous brand. And it just, it looks incredible. You have some truffle sliced on top, the truffle uh, cream. I can't wait. I know it's delicious, I've already tried it before. 
but I can't wait to, to eat it again. Look at those pasta. It looks so good. Looks al dente. You don't like the truffle? I don't like it. So you, you need to try this one. It's like one of my favorite tastes, truffle. I just love it so much. Try the ravioli. Oh my goodness. You have some beef, maybe some beef or pork, the sausage? Sausage. sausage. I think it's pork. Yeah, pork. It looks really, really good. Can I, uh, can I try one? Oh, it tastes like summer. Like you have the, the tomato sauce. The sausage inside is really smooth, really tasty. I love it. I really like it. Magnifique. C'est parfait. Merci. The waiter asks if we want some uh, parmesan, parmigiano on top of the pasta. You say yes, of course. It's time to try it with the parmesan. Let's go. Mm. Of course. I don't know what to say. It's delicious. You taste a little less the truffle because of the parmesan. It's really al dente, so you need to love the pasta when it's like a bit uh, kind of difficult to chew. And I like it like that. But after the starters, I don't know how I will finish the whole plate, the whole pan, because it's a lot. Try it. You will love it. Mm. You don't like the truffle? It's not for you? Not a lot. Your plate re is really good, really tasty. Yeah. Many different uh, tastes and flavors inside. My plate is more like one taste. If you love the truffle, it's perfect. But I think yours is more complex, like more interesting if you want to try like different flavors, Italian flavors. It may be better if you want something new. It was really nice, but it's difficult for me to finish. I want to keep some place for the dessert because the dessert also looks really good. Yeah. Magnifique. It's time for the dessert. They serve the tiramisu from the big plate, so it was really funny to see that. So it's the specialty of any Italian restaurant, the tiramisu. Yeah. We also took the Melba peach, the peche Melba. It's, it's called the Mama Melba here, if you remember. And it's a famous uh, French uh, dessert with some peaches, some ice cream, and I can't wait to eat it. It's fresh, it's for the summer, it's perfect. Yes. Let's start with the tiramisu. Let's go. Mm, yeah. The cream is nice, you have the taste of the coffee, but it's not too bitter. It's just the good taste of the, the sweet coffee. What do you think? I love it, it's so creamy, so it's perfect. The biscuits are really soaked, so really moist. I love them when you have a little bit more chewiness, but it's really soft tiramisu, it's, uh, it's nice like that. But now I want to try the Mama Melba. Mm. You have the sweetness like the syrup, because the peaches are like uh, marinated in a vanilla syrup. The ice cream, the fruit, the chantilly cream on top, I just love the mix. It's really sweet, but also really fresh, and I think it's perfect to end the meal. I think I prefer this one, the Mama Melba, instead of the tiramisu because it's more uh, original. So Meili, what do you think about mm. Pink Mama? Do you think it's worth the hype, the, the success of this restaurant? Yes, I think, but I think the better it's the place. Yeah. Because it's so beautiful. And the food is good, great, but I prefer the place. You really come for the place, it's really beautiful. I love the glass roof. I think it's worth the hype. It's a really good restaurant, really nice. Simple food but really well made. And especially the starters, like the focaccia is incredible. And if you want to have like some classic Italian dishes in Paris, it's a really good place for that. We are out of Pink Mama, we are full. It was delicious. Don't forget to follow Meili if you speak French. And of course, if you want to explore Paris and discover the French way of life, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. I post every single day. So see you tomorrow. A demain.